Hi. <laughs> My name is Nani Tran. I am a sophomore from Lincoln North Star. Speak and this poem is called Cryptic Number Six. Wait, no. It's called Semi Cryptic Number Two. Wait, no. It's called A Clarity. Let's go with that. <laughs> to be unique, we simply leer at being insane. Then why is it that we have fears of being the same? We are breaking free of the highs belong to a society. Certainly we will fly or dive to new heights and depths to be special. We task our hands to paint a blank mask to form personality, but personally, we remain similarly to everyone else's. How familiar this concept, uniquity. Ubiquity says to have your soul be the so unlike it. Using our mind, wise our kind, not leave it behind. This concept has such a craze, seemingly such a haze to us, navigating a maze of reasons and thoughts. I would praise the person that can make it through without raising themselves. But now, we're hating ourselves for not getting desired results. Unjustified that being different is feasible. It's adherent to our ways in all of our days. Because, of course, it's reasonable to think that we must nurture our ideas and self until they mature. It's simply in our own nature. Where it's ingrained in our mind how fine the gains of unique really are. Like grains of sand slipping through our hands. Through some complications, we find ourselves not just alone, but not aware in our tribulations to achieve uniquity. Simply just our kink to seek freedom from life's hijinks. But it jinxes us by reading that same life. It's the lamentation of our similarities and meaningless observations. The condensation of our tears and the salts. The rock salt for our recollection of our feeble attempts to prove ourselves more than just a pebble in a stream. Where the ebb and the flow, no more being in cloud. In isolation until we're alone and alone we find. Time and time again, where we can scream, I'm special, as loud as we want, but ultimately no one hears. And no, we are not. These are knots binding us to our fate, self-hate. It's not safe to be pursuing untamed and harmful ambitions. Evidently, we may be obviously practicing individuality, but apparently we are doing so systematically. We're about the same practicality of finding our perfection perfectly so without question, as questionably without the, our hesitation, hesitantly making the connection that this is the pinnacle of paradoxicality. Drawing a hole in our living, willing to create a cavity of depravity as we seek a little feeling, filling of others' feelings to lock away in a vault, detracting from the whole self. Self-actualization, the realization of our faults and intervention to prevent self-destruction is not all for naught. So toss it aside, don't confide in these thoughts, just follow your heart, stay on top of your life here and now, and make your happiness the best of your times.